fire alarms, what the heck do these have to do with your health? Let's find out. So I'm Dr. Alain Dizonnier, uh, co-owner and family chiropractor here at Revolution Health here in Vancouver, British Columbia. And I was checking these things. I actually just replaced one of these in my house. So we just got, we just moved into a new place. And uh, so we, we're also replacing one of the fireplaces. It was a gas fireplace that's on just in the other room right beside me here. And it wasn't working. One of the things that it wasn't like, it was working, the thing was on, and then we had somebody come in and check and they're like, oh my gosh, there's a CO2 building up. You gotta get rid of it. And so it's like, you gotta get all of these, you know, check all of your, your alarms and everything. So I went to go check this alarm and this is what I found. So I go to test the alarm and it's not working. I'm like, oh my gosh. So uh, smoke alarm, carbon monoxide alarm, uh, I gotta get, I had to get a new one. And it got me thinking, it's an analogy that, that we used to use all the time and, and I haven't actually in a while, so it made me think of it. When it comes to our health, a lot of time what ends up happening is that we end up waiting until our symptoms show up. Like we, I'm in pain, something's not working properly. And at that point, that's when we do something about it. What most people do, however, is not what is necessarily required, but we just try to get rid of the pain. I'm like, just do whatever I gotta do to get out of pain. Just whatever I do to get my stomach to feel better, whatever I gotta do to get a little bit more energy, get some Red Bulls in me and you know, whatever it is. And what we're doing is just attacking the symptom. We're attacking the problem that we think that we have. It's very much like one of these things here. So let's say all of a sudden, uh, our faulty fireplace was still was still in and everything was working properly and all of a sudden the fire alarm went off the fire alarm goes off what do you do at that point well there's a fire going on so you have a couple options option number one is put out the fire is do whatever you can to make sure that the house is not burning call you know call 911 whatever it is you get the fire to stop the other option is this thing goes off and, if, and when the one that I put in, I won't test it for you now. Uh, well, this one's not working, but the one that I tested, oh my gosh, it's so loud. It's so loud and so annoying. And they make them that way because they get your attention. You cannot sleep through, you cannot live through, you cannot go and have a Zoom meeting through a fire alarm. You gotta take it, you know, you gotta do something. But one of the options, let's say this is so annoying, I just go over and I take this thing out. Take the battery out so it doesn't work anymore. So it doesn't work anymore, I don't hear the sound. Does that mean that the problem is gone? No, the problem's still there. The problem's there, we just don't, you just don't know it. You'll find out once the room that you're in starts burning down, once your house has started to burn down. But that's so much like what happens with our health. When we try to just get rid of the symptoms, when we just try to cut off the symptom, it's like just pulling, it's cutting the wires to the fire alarm. It's taking the battery out of fire out of the smoke alarm so what we need to do when it comes to our health is actually find out what is going on what is causing this fire to burn first we've got to put out the fire then we've got to find out why is this burning is it, is it an electrical fire is did my kid lit something did she, did she light you know a piece of paper on fire that lit everything else on fire whatever it is and so our approach to health, our approach to chiropractic, our approach to taking care of people is to look at what is causing the fire to happen in the first place. What is causing your pain to be there? What is causing your health problem to be there in the first place? Once we can address that health problem like that, once we can address the cause of the problem, the cause of the fire, then all of a sudden the fire is not there anymore. The fire goes out. And then this thing, these alarms don't need to go off anymore. Or it's oftentimes, I mean, I'll have you consider that the pain, the discomfort, the health challenges that you're experiencing, the things that you're feeling, they're actually the sign quite positively many times that are telling you that there's a problem. They're not the problem. The fire alarm, as annoying as it is, is not the problem. The fire is. Just like the pain, the discomfort that you're feeling, that's not the problem. The cause of the problems needs to be addressed. And if it's, if it's a core issue with your spine and nerve system, then that's exactly what we do and that's exactly how we help people. And so we test, we get down to the bottom of why is this all happening in the first place. So where in your health are you looking at things that you're just like, ah, I'm just trying to take the batteries out of the fire alarm. I'm just trying to cut the wires to the fire alarm so I don't hear the fact that the fire is burning down my house. Where in your body 
are you experiencing that? That you actually need to get down to the bottom of what is happening, find out the root cause of what is causing your health problems. It's not just putting out, not just trying to mask the symptoms. So again, I'm Dr. Alain Desonier, co-owner and family chiropractor here at Revolution Health in Vancouver, British Columbia. Be awesome today.